Daryl LaMonica, the deep-throwing quarterback who won an American Football League Player of the Year award and led the Oakland Raiders to their first Super Bowl appearance, has died. He was 80. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office said LaMonica died at his Fresno home on Thursday morning. The death is considered to be from natural causes. The Raiders acquired La Monica in a trade from Buffalo in 1967, and he was immediately the perfect fit for the vertical offense that owner Al Davis coveted for his franchise. Nicknamed the Mag Bomber, La Monica made an immediate impact in Oakland after starting only four games and four seasons with the Bills. La Monica's strong arm complemented deep threat receivers such as Warren Wells and Fred Bielatnikoff and turned the Raiders into a powerhouse. They went 13-1 his first season as La Monica was a first-team All-Pro and a PAFL Player of the Year when he led the league with 30 touchdown passes. La Monica then threw two TD passes in a win over Houston in the AFL title game to send the Raiders to their first Super Bowl, where they lost 33-14 to the National Football League champion Green Bay Packers. In his six seasons as a starter for the Raiders, La Monica was one of the most prolific passers in the game, leading pro football with 145 TD passes, 24 more than second place Fran Tarkenton. His 16.006 yards passing ranked third in the span of 1967 to 1972. La Monica was an All-Pro again in 1969 when he led the AFL with three 302 yards passing and 34 touchdowns. The 34 TDs still stand as the franchise's single-season record more than a half century later. La Monica was at his best during the playoffs throwing five TD passes and a 41-6 win over Kansas City in 1968 and a record six the following season against Houston. Only Steve Young and Tom Brady have matched La Monica's 60 D passes in a playoff game, and only Patrick Mahomes and Kurt Warner have multiple games with at least five. La Monica also played a starring role in one of the most memorable games ever, throwing four TD passes, including the go-ahead score to Charlie Smith, in a 43-32 win over the Jets in a game now known as the Heidi game because NBC cut away from the finish on the East Coast before the Raiders' comedian. La Monica was replaced as the starter in 1973 by Ken Stabler and went to the World Football League the following season where he finished his career. La Monica finished his career with 19, 154 yards passing and 164 TDs. The Raiders went 62-16-6 in La Monica's starts for the best winning percentage for any starting QB in the Super Bowl era with at least 75 starts. La Monica was born and raised in Fresno before going to college at Notre Dame. He was drafted in the 12th round by Green Bay and the 23rd round by the Bills in 1963 and opted to go to the AFL. He was a backup to Jack Kemp in Buffalo before becoming a star in Oakland.